Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to do a stretch in a dollar recipe and I've done this before and I really like it and um, my family has never known that I've done this so um, as you know pancetta if any of you have ever bought it pancetta can be very expensive this three ounce package was six dollars so that's a little spendy when you figure out how price per pound um, I like to use it because it's three ounces opposed to a pound of bacon calling my name in the middle of the night. <laughs> so that being said, I want to stretch this out to as far as I can and have as many uses and, and get absolutely every bit of flavor out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it with some salt pork. Now that might sound weird, but it's kind of the same cut of meat. It's just cured a little bit differently and it's a lot less expensive. Um, a package of salt pork. Hold on, let me grab it. At my high dollar end grocery store, this salt pork um, was three forty nine, and how many? How, and that's twelve ounces. That's a big difference. So we're going to add in some salt pork while this is the pancetta is rendering to stretch that dollar even further. So I hope this inspires you to stretch a dollar whenever you can and inspires you to come along and see how I do it. And uh, as always guys, go check out my Wild Tree website and hit my Facebook page, hit the like button, get on band with the, on board with all the news and updates and see who's conversating and joining in on that conversation. All right guys, let's go make some pancetta. Stretching it out with some salt pork. Okay, Okay. so here I've got my package of pancetta, and you can see that's not very much, and that's just three ounces of pancetta. So I've got my cast iron skillet overheating on the stove, and it's pretty hot. I just put a little piece of fat in there. So you're going to get your salt pork, and it's going to come like this, and you can trim it as lean as you want, and it looks like I'm going to trim off some of this fat, because I don't need all of it. Um, I'll just keep the leaner pieces of this and you can save that and um, use that in you know pork and beans that's what I would use for my pork and beans um, if I was gonna make pork and beans and that's probably what I'll do with the rest of this but I'm just gonna cut it into uniform shapes just like the pancetta is I don't want anybody to know they've got something different in their mouth and my idea is the fat that's rendered from the pancetta will flavor the meat of the salt pork enough that you won't be able to tell the difference and you're still getting that taste and um, bite that you like um, without the smoke that bacon would leave and um, <laughs> the temptation. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm weak. I can't help it. Okay, so now I'm going to cut off a slice. I, yet, I like to use salt pork like my mother did when we had new potatoes and green beans in the garden. My gosh, you can't ask for a better flavor. It's delicious. So, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to take you over and brown this up and show you what I got. As soon as I'm done, this is going to be quick and easy and a short video for you to watch and maybe a good idea. And I'm going to mix this all up so I won't be able to discern which is which either. And um, I'll give you a taste test at the end and an honest evaluation, even though I already know what it tastes like. Um, and then I've added, you know, if I add another three ounces, I'm way better off and I've saved myself some money and um, I'm able to share with guests <laughs> and not freak out on how much it is. You can get pancetta at Walmart, um, the same brand, but my problem has been it's, it's over by the deli case and it's only $3.49 or something like that a pound, or for a three ounce package. But the last couple times I've been in there and I ask him where's the pancetta because there wasn't any in that case. Oh, we moved it over there on top of where the salami and all this is. Well, it has to be refrigerated and there wasn't any over there so they haven't had any so I had to resort to going to my higher end grocery store to get the pancetta. So. That being said, you can get it at Trader Joe's. I'm going to put one more good slice in here. And this has got the, the skin as well on there. Now you can take that skin off, and that lowers your fat. Um, you could render that fat down if you wanted. 
for other soups, stews, anything where you need like some beans, you need some flavor, pork flavor, because pork's got a pretty flavorful fat to it. All right, so enough of that. I'm gonna cut the rest of that up that I want and we're gonna get over to the stove and brown that up in a pan. Okay, pan so there. I've got my pancetta and my um, salt pork down in here and browning it off, letting that fat render. And I want to kind of turn it to a medium heat. I just turned it down. Uh, oops, man down. Woo. I don't want to lose anybody. Anyway, um, you want to kind of render that fat down slowly so then it can kind of permeate the other meat that's in there. I'm going to get the best of both worlds. Doesn't that look good? And that's a lot. So this is going to go for our recipe that we've got coming up. And I just thought I'd share that with you because it's just a really nice, easy way to save some money. And I'll bring you back when it's all done and we're tasting it. All right, guys. It's all done. I've rendered it down. And really and truly, other than I can recognize pieces like this piece has that skin piece on, and I would recommend taking that off. That did um, make it a little tough. Mm. It's a little saltier than pancetta, so you get a little saltier bite, but let me see if I can pick out a piece of pancetta. Mm. These smaller pieces are pancetta, so I got a couple little pieces there. Mm. And that's got, it actually picks up some of the salt, but they both have the same flavor. I mean, it's just the profile is perfect. So it's a little saltier, so anytime you're going to use this combination in one of your recipes, please take that into consideration because you could be over salting your dish and you don't want to do that. This is going to be used in such a small amount that it's going to be okay and we aren't going to salt anything else in the dish. So that being said, I hope that this inspires you to maybe t try stretching a dollar however you can. Um, maybe next time I'll do a stretch in a dollar recipe for you using something else, but this is how I do it when I need more pancetta than I have on hand or care to have on hand because I didn't really want to spend $12. So that being said, uh, I hope if you like this, you give me a thumbs up and if you really like it, go post this on your Facebook page because it's delicious. It's a great use of a expensive and inexpensive treat together. So, all right guys, as always, God bless.